welcome to Mr. Otter Studio. Today I'm going to be showing you an a la prima method of oil painting in eight steps. A la prima just means wet and wet. So we're not letting layers dry, we're painting this all in one sitting. And I think it's a great practice when you start doing oils to learn how to kind of maneuver the paint. And we're going to be painting a monochromatic painting of some daffodils. And we're going to be using yellow and black and white. And that's what monochromatic means is one color and black and white. This is a great tutorial for beginners. If you want to find the image of daffodils that I used to paint this with, you can click on the link below. I think I'll put it to my Facebook page and you can find that. So let's get started. All you need are basic oil painting supplies, turpentine and a rag. I'm using three brushes, a big flat brush, a filbert brush, and then a small round. I actually just use that palette knife on, knife on the right, not the one on the left. And then you need white, black, and yellow oil paint. You can also use charcoal to sketch it with or even paint, but I'm just using this pencil. Just don't press hard if you're using a pencil. And on the left I have my palette. Um, it's just a paper palette. The first step is your sketch. So this is a really light sketch. It's really simple. Daffodils have a pretty simple shape. So just put it on light and loose. Try to make sure it's, you know, in the correct proportions. And then you're going to block in your colors. So the second step is to block in the main colors, even some of the main shadow colors. You're not putting the brightest brights and the darkest darks yet. You're just putting in kind of think of like those medium toned areas. So we've got kind of a darker yellow we're putting in first and that's just mixed with a little bit of black and there is probably some white in that as well. And then we're going to mix up a little bit of a brighter yellow without so much black in it and add this color that's just a little bit brighter and I zoomed in so you can see it a little bit closer. So we're just still just blocking in those colors and getting them where we want them. And we're using a filbert to do this with. And now let's mix up our background color. Since this is one of the main colors, it's basically black white with a little bit of yellow and I should have used the bigger flat brush, but that's okay. So we can deal with the details in it later, but what I'm doing now is kind of important. I'm going around the edges and some of the edges are going to be a little bit blurry and some of them will be sharp. To do this, I'm going to be using a small round brush because I can get in those little areas and add those details. So we're going to check our edges and smooth them out where we want them to be smooth. It doesn't mean you need to smooth out all of the edges or in the end your painting will just look really blurry. So we want some harder edges and some softer edges. So now let's mix up a shadow color and we're going to be adding some of the shadows. So step number four is to add the darker areas. We're adding them in the flower, inside of it, and also on the petals or along the outside. And the awesome thing about oil paint is it's super easy to blend. Sometimes when you start painting, that is the hardest part with oil paints, but it really ends up being one of their greatest attributes, I feel like, because you can blend it so smoothly and so easily. Step number five is to add details. So you've added your shadows, you've added those medium tones. Now I'm just quickly sketching in this glass jar that these daffodils were in. You don't need to do this part. I didn't want it to be the focus, so it's just pretty light and not detailed. But I'm taking another darker color and just adding some of the details on the flowers. Step number six is to add the lightest areas. So not the very, very lightest, like if you have any white or anything like that, it's gonna be on top. So I would say the second to lightest areas. So add it on there, you can fix some of your shapes. And I decided just to add a, a quick stem inside of this jar, which is my black and a little bit of yellow and white. And now I'm going to be mixing up all of the colors again, and I'm mixing up my background color. And the reason I'm painting my background again is the first layer you can see I used a lot of turpentine. That makes it more translucent, you can see through it. So now I want my paint to be more opaque. So, and I'm also using a bigger brush because I don't want so many brush strokes in my background. I don't want it to be so busy that it takes your attention away from the daffodils. And the last step is number eight. You're going to be using your palette knife on this one. So I'm just using straight yellow. This is where you will put the final layers on top. So I'm just dabbing it on my palette knife and then I'm just going to set it right in the middle of that daffodil and on some of the edges where it's brighter and I want it to stand away from the shape that's next to it or um, that I also want it to have a different texture than the shape that's next to it. 
So my camera makes it a little bit hard to see some of it, but you can especially see the edges up here where I'm adding it. And sometimes the paint doesn't go exactly where I want it to go. And so what I do is I just take my paintbrush after and blend it in the areas that I want to blend it. Okay, now I wanted to do this quick close up, so I'm still just adding details. This is what I love about oil. Watch how easy it is to add some of the folds and shapes inside of this flower. They just blend so smoothly in oil. And even today, this is, I'm recording the audio the next day and it's still wet. I could still blend it and add some colors, but using turpentine will quicken it. So I just used turpentine or turpenoid when I painted this one. So look around and add any other details that you need to add, any darker areas, any lighter areas, any areas you need to blend a little bit or in the background you might wanna check it and make sure there isn't an area that is pulling away from what you want people to look at. And you are finished, I hope that was helpful. I know a lot of you are scared to paint with oil paints, but you can do it. And I hope you have a wonderful day.